Please just go back to hell. No. Johnny, come on! Yeah, in a minute. Just let me pick this level. You said that two levels ago! Y yeah, yeah, in a minute. Hey, what the hell, man? Johnny, listen to me right now. You need to help me deactivate Hank. Uh, not this again, man. You're the one who's good with machines. I'm not! You're the only one who can handle your father's fucked up robots! And why you gotta deactivate Hank so bad, man? What's the deal? <sighs> Alright, Johnny. I'm gonna level with you. That robot that your father built, he's gone haywire and he's killed two teenagers. The police aren't sure of it yet, but I know. This isn't the first time Hank's done something like this. Back when we tried reopening the restaurant in 86, he killed a maintenance worker. I got off without too much trouble back then, but this time, this time I don't think I'll be so lucky. That's why you gotta help me, Johnny. Hank and the others have cameras inside their eyes, and I need your help to destroy them. Then, you have to destroy Hank and all the others. I took you in all those years ago, and I know that you're the only person I can trust to do this. So please, will you help me, Johnny? Man, fucking Vakta came out of nowhere. God damn it, Johnny! Did you get back on that damn game? Look, Mr. Darnell, no offense, but I kind of got my own life to worry about, man. Sorry if that was going on with, like, Hank and the cops and stuff, but that's really not my problem. And I'm kind of busy right now anyway. You've just been playing video games all day! Hey man, I got a record to beat. What the hell's the matter with you? Yo, Mr. Darnell, you bought me an arcade machine? That's tight, man. Never thought you'd do something like this. <sighs> Believe me, Johnny, I wouldn't do this if I wasn't desperate. <laughs> so what game is this? Hank's Hot Dog Factory. It's a game my company's been working on for a while now. We would've finished it sooner, but... We ran into some financial trouble a while back. Had to cut down the budget. Huh. Kinda looks like a baby game. It's rated for kids ages five and up. Oh. Well, why are you bringing me this, then? Because... This machine is... Special, so to speak. And I think after you're done playing it, you'll want to reconsider helping me destroy Hank. Mmm. Now, look. This cabinet was supposed to go to the arcade over on Kista Street. But after checking it out... Some of our playtesters complained that it was acting... strange. Started glitching out in weird ways. I decided to look into it myself, and sure enough, they were right. Whoa, freaky. What kind of glitches? Trust me, you'll know them when you see them. This doesn't get you off that damn couch, nothing will. What was that? Huh? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just go ahead and start the game. I have to go find Hank's kill switch. You'll need it to deactivate him. I'll be back later. Cool. Thanks, Cecil. Yeah, whatever, Johnny. He's such a cool guy. Alright, let's start this thing. Hiya, buddy! I take it you're the new guy, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great! I'm Hank Hot Dog! Welcome to my hot dog factory! This is where we make all our tasty hot dogs for our awesome restaurant. Here, why don't I take you on a grand tour of the place? This is Nancy. She's in charge of shipping out all our delicious hot dogs. Nice to meet you, darling. This here is Pizzo. He's in charge of packaging all our hot dogs. Hey, like what's up? And this is Johnson Bonson. He handles all the financial stuff. Um, actually, I believe that is a gross oversimplification of what I do. 
I am in charge of a variety of business and finance related tasks, the first of which being stock taking. Stock taking or uh, stock count. Really don't like that. Process of man and of course, I'm the boss around here. I keep everything you see around us in check, making sure this whole enterprise runs smoothly. Hey, wait a minute. Who said you were the boss? Uh, I did. Just now. Weren't you listening? I do more work around here than anyone else. If anyone's the boss, it's me. Um, no. You only put boxes in trucks. I manage everything else. Get it right, Nancy the Nitwit. Hey, I run the finances around here. I'm more of a boss than all of you. <laughs> no way, dude. I'm the boss. Look, can we not get into this now? You can scare off our new employee. We don't want to do that, right? So just shut up. Ahem. Now, back to the tour. Um, Mr. Hot Dog, we got a problem. Oh, for God's sake, how many times am I going to get interrupted so, today? So, uh, we kind of like ran out of hot dog ingredients. What? Oh, dude. Yeah. So, uh, this we can't off make hot dogs well. anymore. We also haven't finished packaging any of the ones we do have, and we haven't shipped out any orders either. Oh, are you serious? Who's the idiot who let this happen? Well, as you said, you are the main supervisor for the whole factory, and I believe you were supposed to check the shipping Yeah, yeah, lines. boring business stuff, whatever, I don't care. <sighs> well, it looks like there's only one thing left to do. We have to order new ingredients, finish packaging all our hot dogs, and start shipping them out. That's three things, honey. Oh, shut the fuck up, will you, Nancy? <sighs> so, we have to save the factory, and we need your help to do it. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> nope. What are you, a weenie? <laughs> I thought you were laughing, Nancy. That was terrible. Look, I know it may seem scary running around a factory working with dangerous equipment on your first day, but I know you've got what it takes. Now, what do you say, you little sausage? Uh, yeah, I uh, know. Start the game, Johnny. Huh? Uh, uh, okay. A little weird, but whatever. I ain't stressing. You know, that cutscene was pretty crap, but the graphics looked super rad. I bet the game itself is gonna look sick. Oh. Guess the game's really not finished. To save the factory, you'll have to complete some tasks. To save the factory, find Nancy, Pizzo, and Johnson Bonson, and go complete their tasks. All right, can do, Mr. Hot Dog. Yeah, this game's grody. Should have known there'd be a catch when Cecil bought me this. Oh yeah, Johnny, play this game at a Safeway restaurant. Whatever. Lame. I hate my job. Alright, let's start with this guy, I guess. Oh, hello again. I suppose you are here to help me complete my tasks? Fantastic. Well, what are we waiting for? We must order new hot dog ingredients whilst maintaining our strict budget of $2,000. You will be provided with a list of the ingredients we need, and you will have to order the best possible ones without going over budget. Ready. Set. Go. Yeah, no, screw that. I'm playing something else. This game sucks. Johnny, get back on the game. Huh? Get back on the game, Johnny. What the? What the hell? Is that I the game? said get back on the game. All right, all right. Sure, man. Weird. Must have been dialogue glitch or something. All right, let's order some stuff. Uh, let's get some pickles, and some mustard, can't forget the relish, and let's get some ketchup. I don't know what that is, let's get it. And let's get like, a, a hundred onions. 
Yeah. Confirm purchase. Oops. Guess I shouldn't have gone over budget. Whoa, what the hell? Yo, what's up with this thing? Johnny! Oh, um, I... Uh, who are you? Listen, Johnny, I don't have a lot of time. It's me, Tommy, your brother, remember? Oh, yeah, Tommy. Yeah, how's it going, man? It's been, like, years. Yeah, hi. Listen, I have something I need to tell Wait, you. Wait, aren't you, like, dead? Yes! Yes, I'm dead! Look, that's not important right now! Well, how can you be talking to me if you're dead? Just listen! Johnny, you need to deactivate and destroy Hank, like Mr. Darnell said! No, Johnny. Don't destroy Hank. What? Keep playing the game. Waste all of your time here just playing this game. Uh... Hey, get out of here! No way! What the fuck, Tommy? Why are you trying to get this guy to get rid of me, huh? I already told you, man. You're keeping us all trapped here. We're sick of it. Um, and I told you, I do not want to go back there. Satan's going to yell at me if he sees me, and I cannot deal with that right now. Guys, what are you talking you're about? You're making this our problem. Yeah, well, you know what? We're not friends anymore. Johnny, keep playing the game. I'm leaving. Hey, wait, you can't just... Johnny, don't listen to him. Just get out of here and go destroy Hank. Johnny, listen! Great work. I knew you could do it. As a reward, you get to complete more laborious tasks. Hooray. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna need a minute to process this. Was the game trying to talk to me just now? What could this all mean? Man, I just get to the bottom of this. Guess I gotta keep playing. Okay, let's move on to Pizzo's game. He's super cool. Hey, I'm super cool. Good to see you again, new guy. Guess you're here to help us package some hot dogs. Yeah, we's gotta get these dogs all in their packages. You feel me? We gotta get these ready for the market. You get it? Wisdom is knowing, like, not when to take the dunk, man, but when to swing and miss. Uh, yeah. Hey, newbie. I'll let you in on a little secret. This is pretty much a two-man operation we're running here. Pizzo doesn't actually do much, but, uh, stand around and make some zany quips. Oh man, I need a shower, dude. The only reason things don't go south here is because me and Carl are working overtime to pack these dogs. We're normally just the shipping guys. Hey, what about me? Doggy Cheddar! I ship hot dogs out every day! Who the f*** are you? Yeah, Pizzo, who is this guy? Okay, newbie, you go ahead and help us pack these dogs. Just uh, match them with the right box and they'll be ready to go. Me and Carl are gonna go call security to get Donnie Cheddar off the premises. Hey, best of luck to you, kid. I knows you can do it. Johnny, get off the game and go destroy Hank, you doofus. Whoa, wait, hold on. Did the game just try to talk to me again? Nah, I better just keep going. See if I can get some answers here. Awesome, dude. Yo, thanks, man. Yeah, shrimp dog. Gnarly. Wait, where the hell's a shrimp dog supposed to go? Dude, not radical. <laughs> Screw you, Pizzo. You know, maybe I'm just imagining it. There's no way a game could just start talking to me. Awesome, dude. That makes no sense. It'd have to be like haunted or something. And Cecil didn't say it was haunted. Or did he? Uh, I can't remember. Man, I got a really bad memory. Oh, ah. Uh, 
Oh, jeez, these aren't hot dogs. Yeah, no, no, these are these are body parts. Awesome, dude. Awesome, dude. Awesome, dude. Not very sanitary of you, Pizzo. Having human body parts in your hot dog machine? That's like at least three health violations, man. Whoa, um, hi, little girl. <laughs> Johnny, it's me, Angie, remember? <laughs> oh, right, Angie. Hey, how you been? Good. I learned to count to 1,000 today. One, two, three, four, Angie, no. Five. Tell him you have to go destroy Hank. Oh, right. Johnny, you have to go destroy Hank. Burn him. Tear him up. Get a chainsaw. Rip him to pieces. Okay, calm down a little, will you, Angie? Angie, tell Johnny all about the cat you saw yesterday. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're right! Okay, Johnny, so there was this cat, and he was so cute! Angie, no! Focus! He had this big bushy tail, and Damn it, he man. had green eyes, You know she can't stop talking when she starts going off about animals. That was a cheap move. No, you know what is a cheap move? Going behind my back to try and get my body destroyed. And did you forget what I said? We are not friends anymore. Don't talk to me. Dude, you are so lucky Jane isn't here yet, because she would have some awful things to say to you right now. Oh, please. As if I'm scared of a little... Hey! Stop talking! I'm trying to tell my story! Sorry. Anyways... He was very cute and pretty, and I loved him. The end! <laughs> nice story, Angie. But what does this all mean? Johnny, can you please just get out of here and go destroy Hank? Don't listen to him. You must find those answers. Keep playing. Bye, Johnny! See ya, Angie. Man, what's this game trying to tell me? We really ought to dig deep into this now. Alright, let's get back to the game. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, dude. You should've seen the look on your face. <laughs> yeah, good one, Joel. Ghost high five. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. What do we do now? Uh, I don't know. Didn't really think that far ahead, actually. Uh, fuck. It's kinda awkward now, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, a little bit. Mm. Uh, hey, Johnny bro. You should, like, get off the game, man. Yeah, scram, dude. Go, like, kill Hank or something. He's a real bitch. Word. Anyway, see you, dude. Yeah, take care, man. Holy crap! I think I finally understand what this game is trying to tell me. It really is haunted, isn't it? By the ghosts of my dead family. And some kind of dark entity. And two random guys I don't really know. And they want me to help Mr. Donnell destroy Hank. So they can finally get out of their robot bodies. Took you long enough. Nancy, there's no time. I gotta talk to Jane. <clears throat> Hi, Ken, darling. I see you've already gone and finished everyone else's task. Nancy, come on. I need to talk to her. Honey, you're talking to a cartoon character in a video game. I know, but can we just please skip this part? It's important. <sighs> sure, yeah. Cause screw my minigame, right? Sorry. Yeah, whatever. There you are, Johnny. Jane, I get it now. You want me to destroy Hank. It seriously took you this long to figure that out? <laughs> I know, right? It was like real tricky, man. But I put it all together, like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, for the love of... You really are just as dumb as when we were kids. Oh, yeah? Well, which one of us is alive? Oh, that's right. Me. <laughs> I win. Ugh, whatever. So now are you going to come down here and free us? Fine, I will. Oh, no, you won't. Huh? What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I tried to keep him away, but Angie ran off looking for a ghost rat. I'm gonna name her Princess. Johnny, you can't stop now. There are still so many questions left unanswered. Don't you want to keep playing until you solve them? Ha! <laughs> no way, creepy voice guy. You can't fool me anymore. I finally figured it all out. You're the dude trapped inside Hank, ain't ya? Yes. Honestly, I don't know how you are only realizing this now. Johnny's a bit dense. You'll have to forgive him. Hey! Well then, you refuse to waste any more time on this game. 
So be it. But just so you know, Johnny, there is still one last mini game left to complete. Oh my god. Johnny, please, no. Oh yeah? And what is it? A race to reach the end of the factory. If you win, I will allow you to deactivate my body. And what if I lose? If you lose, then, you have to admit that you suck at gaming. <gasps> oh, it's on. Johnny, no! Please, Johnny, Sorry, please guys, please but Nick's left me no choice. Please, Nobody please, tells me please, I suck at gaming. <laughs> well then, what are we waiting for? Let's play. Nice to see you again, buddy! And it looks like you've just about finished everyone else's task. However, there's still one last task you have to complete. It's a, a race to the death. Ready? Set. Go. All right. Now this is my kind of game. Try and catch this, Hank. You cannot run forever, Johnny. Nah, I think I can. The odds are not in your favor. Oh, crap. Hey, not cool, man. That's cheating. What? Did you really think I was going to let you beat me so easily? Oh, shit. Time, man. What are you idiots doing? Hey, relax, Hank. We're not even doing anything. Yeah, man. Take a chill pill. Jeez. Good lord, why can I be? Alright. I think I lost him. Hey, I might actually win this. Yo, what? Come on, it can't end like this. Uh, is this a game over? Because if so, that totally wasn't fair. Yo, what the? Shh, Johnny, it's okay. Try not to talk so loud. I don't know if he can hear us down here. You mean Hank, right? Wait, are you another ghost? Well... Yeah, obviously. Whoa, rad. Uh, and you brought me... To the machine code. Hank shouldn't be able to find us here. I've been trying to reach out to you all day. I'm here to help you. Oh, cool. So can you give me, like, a speed boost or something so I can, like, get to the exit before Hank? What? No. Johnny, I'm here to help you destroy Hank so you can free your siblings. Oh. Well, can you, like, help me get to the exit first? I gotta beat Hank in a race, or else I gotta admit I suck at gaming. Uh, I swear, I can't believe he let you get this obsessed with those damn games. What was that? Huh? Oh, nothing, nothing. Look, why don't I just be frank? I have a plan to trap the spirit haunting Hank inside this game. If you lure him into one of the rooms in this factory, I can glitch the machine and get him trapped in the code. It won't hold him for long, but he won't be able to go back to his body in the real world. He'll be vulnerable. This will give you some time to go down to the restaurant and deactivate the robot he's in. I... Uh, I don't know, man. If he catches me, I have to admit I suck at gaming. I can't risk that. Johnny! Look, I'll try my best to keep him at bay, and I'll guide you to where you need to go, alright? It's hard for me to reach this far out from where I am. I can't really do much. But we're gonna get this asshole together, alright? You just need to trust me. Yeah. Y yeah, alright. Whatever you say, spirit lady. Wait, you... you don't recognize me? Uh, should I? <laughs> hey, Johnny, do me a favor, will you? After you free your brother and sisters, come back to this arcade machine. There's a lot of things I have to tell you, and not enough time for me to explain them yet. Uh, okay. I guess I can do that. <sighs> Thanks, kiddo. Now... Why don't we catch ourselves a hot dog? Where could he possibly? Ah, there you are. Hey man, sorry for bailing on you like that. Oh, it's alright, don't worry. Wait, no. Fuck you. Get over here. Oh man. I'll set up the trap in one of these rooms. Just make sure he keeps following you. Can do, spirit lady. Who are you talking to? Ah, shrimp dog. Ah, over 
Hey Johnny, I'm back. The kill switch wasn't at the storage unit, so that's great. But I got dinner. How'd the game go? Dude, Cecil, it was wild. Really? Yeah, man. I saw all my dead siblings, found a whole bunch of glitches. I even helped trap Hank in the machine code. Oh, uh, okay. So, did they convince you to help me out? Yeah, they did actually. I'll deactivate Hank, man. No problem. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Johnny. My business is saved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, wait. Hold on. I just realized something. Did you know Tommy, Jane, and Angie were haunting those spots the whole time? Uh... And he didn't tell me? I could have freed them ages ago? <laughs> uh... All right, look, Johnny, I'm sorry. It's just... I didn't want you going in and trying something stupid, you know? With Hank in there, it just wasn't safe to go messing around with the robots. I mean, we only have this chance now because of the deal I made with his siblings. You understand, right? Yeah, it's cool. No worries, man. Wait, really? Yeah, man. No use getting worked up about the past, am I right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. No use getting worked up about the past. Right. Uh, let's have dinner. First thing in the morning, we're going down to the restaurant and deactivating Hank. Right on, man. Oh, and by the way, there was this, like, weird spirit lady that helped me trap Hank. Uh, she wanted me to tell you that you're a bitch. What? Yeah, that's what she told me to say, man. Weird spirit lady? Who are you talking about? I know your siblings were in there, but I never spoke with any woman. Uh, I don't know. Never got her name, actually. She was like this weird doll-looking thing with, like, a pink bow and a shower head for her hand. Mr. Darnell? You good, man? Hello? Yo, dude, you got Chinese food. That's sick. 